what is decentralization? Uh, when you use technology, you normally would expect it to be centralized. If you use Facebook, if you use Google, even if you use software from a software developer like Microsoft, uh, you would actually expect it to be centralized. You would expect there's, that there's an entity out there which would take responsibility for the software and which further develops your software and which uh, makes the rules inside the software. But of course, in this case, you are somehow a little bit dependent on this manufacturer. And um, so there's some cases out there where you actually don't want this manufacturer, where you actually want the freedom that the users control the system and how it develops and how it develops further and how the rules are being made. And this is where you strive for being decentralized in your software. That means you take out the central entity, you take out the responsibility by one person or by one company, and you replace it with the responsibility of the users. This is what we're trying to achieve in decentralization.